Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about product price. Product price is a bit confusing and a bit complex in Shopify. Not because it has like different way of displaying it, but it is how it is in every e-commerce platform. So in this video, I will go in details of displaying the product in a proper way using a snippet that you can use it in anywhere in our team. So let's jump to uh, the screen and see. So here is what we did in the previous video. We designed the basic um, grid on the product page. I want to display price below this. The basic uh, section like to modify is going to be cart product. So if you want to display like the product price, all we can do is come down here and display the product price in here. So here is the basic way of displaying the product. If I open a div tag in here, let's give it a um, class also. I will call it price underscore element inside this what you can do is you can just say cart product dot price and apply the filter of money on that so if you do not apply the filter money it will display the same value so when you apply this one it is going to display the proper price with the uh, dollar sign also if the currency is dollar sign now let's give it a little bit of design so i'm going to give it an x from the x give it a little bit of padding let's say two from x direction so it will display properly if i save it again it should display properly since this is shopify cli is not picking the design in stainless that's fine okay now it is so it will display properly in here again i'm going to display a gray color for the price i don't let's say let's not do that fun so this is how it will display the price but what if product product is on sale how would you display the price on that for example if this blue water is four dollar but previously it was six dollar how would you display that so if i come to my product this is the example product that we have let's put it on sale if you come in the pricing section compare at price is for that so compare price is the original price this price is going to be the sale price that you are selling so previously it was ten dollar as example now it is four dollar like 60% discount for this. Now, if I come here in my local environment, refresh it, it is not displaying anything because we didn't say that. So dis to display that, it is called compare at price. You normally do this. You normally write a condition. It's a condition like displaying like if cart product dot compare at price is greater than zero or the like the effective way of like the correct way of saying this is if it is greater than price then this product is on sale so you can say like price element and let's give it uh, a flag of sale you don't need to do it the reason i put all of this is because i want to display like, this one is on sale the other one is um, not on sale so that's like uh, the basic way of displaying now what we can do is we can put an else statement in here and see if product is not on sale display a normal price which is this one but if it is on sale display it on sale something like this now it will say the price in here but i'm going to cross out the compare at price right in here so i will use the the a stack that cross over the price so if i come here and say this is the price and again we will apply the money filter on this so it should display the currency for us if i come here this time okay product dot compare it is compared or compare now the thing is like if you don't remember any of like this class these uh, names that you have in here the easiest way is to go to the product page and see what is available so for now it is going to check that if product price is greater than product compare price is greater than price it will display it in here but here's the thing let me link all the product to the product page what I will do is instead of putting a div I'm going to use an anchor tag in here a in here closed now let's use the href to link this product i forgot to do this in the last video but let's do that url in here now all the this product will be linked so you see it lost that line the reason is because it is not a block element so if you add the block in here you save it 
let's come in here refresh it again yeah now it is blocked and everything looks fine now if i click on this product let's open it in a new tab when you are in the product page oops what did i do wrong if i come here clicking on this will take me to all products in here i think product.url didn't do it properly okay my mistake it should be cart not cart now it should display the links properly if i come here yes blue water that's correct if you open the product in a new tab and at the end of the product url which is product slash handle of the product you can add the json uh, extension and it is going to return that product as a json if yours is not displaying the json properly make sure you install the extension json formatter then it will display the product information correctly in here you should be able to access all the product for example it has one variant which is this one and this is the price of the product and where is the compare at price this is compare at price that you see in here now it doesn't display that in the product level instead of json you can also use js for javascript this is a better version now you see it has this compare at price in here okay that's great now let's come back to the theme and see why it is not displaying the product for us so i'm going to come here scrolling to the bottom okay we say again this is my mistake i said cart instead of cart in here also it should be cart with the d not the t okay everything else seems to be fine now if i come here let's give it another save so it bring the value uh let me see if i made another mistake product card that is correct pricing everything is good yeah now it is displaying the price properly in here so which is crossed because we use this a stack so what all i can do is i can also give it a class of text red not green it should be red let's say six or seven hundred this is the color we want to display and it should make this red after we save it again okay now it's saved let's refresh refresh again it is a bit annoying i know but we will migrate to cli soon so it should be fine now it is working properly and displaying the price properly for me okay that's how you display the price but you are not finished in here now these products are not on sale but what if a product have multiple variants a uh, product could be a small large medium and each variant might have different price so in those scenarios let's do it in this bold frog so if i come back to the product and i'm going to just apply it for this uh, bold frog if you scroll down you can add multiple variants so you can say this product has more options let's say that is called size you can have color you can have a style and anything okay this this one is start from small put comma medium oops and let's say large that's enough i can press done now we have different price for this let's say for example this one is going to be ten dollar but this one which is the large one is fifteen dollar let's add one quantity so they are available i save it now let's come back to our local environment and refresh it now when you, when you refresh it this product will not display any of those prices in here so in this scenario you will say the price is starts from this price to this that is how normally people display it and you can do the same thing so if i open this product in new tab and at the end of this also i press a js let's check out this structure there is something called product varies where it says the product the price varies which, which says that the price are different okay it is equal to true but for the previous one the the price varies was false because it has only one price right for this one the product have multiple prices now you can check if product varies is equal to true show the minimum and maximum that's how you will display there are some other options also like compared price at the same time the a product uh, is like having like multiple variant it is also on sale on this scenario you are going to check for the compare at min and max also so if i come in here let's put another condition right over here now i'm going to put an else um, if in here so it should be else if and in this scenario what i can say i can say card 
product dot price where is so if price like the it has like different prices based on different variant this is where we uh, say price element and oops i forgot to put one underscore in here just want everything to be consistent so where is in here what you can do is this is coming from translation it is auto completing this for me normally people put it on translation but for now let me just hard code it and i say from from in here we say card dot price it should be price min minimum price if you check this is the price min and also the max and you will add a two in here price max now if i come back to my product listing uh, for this one it says it started from in from five dollar to fifteen dollar that is how you normally display the price now it may not look properly in here but i will clean it up after finishing the video this is how you display this in here now this will be the same on the product page if a product is on sale displayed like this if a product has different value displayed like this so this is very important to display them now i could keep it in here but i use this a lot like i use it everywhere i use it on a product page on a collection page on a search page so why not we extract this in a in a component so i can grab everything let's go back to the snippets and in here i'll put an underscore this is how i like uh, differentiate that this is a partial now i call it price element that liquid that's it now we will paste it in here and we are good to go one of the main thing that you have to notice it like you have to check if product is available so you can say if product dot available then this is going to do that okay cool now what we can do is instead of like yeah writing it directly here i can include the underscore price element then i can pass a value to that uh, like a variable it is called product you can call it anything since i named it product in here it should be also product i am passing product and what is it is called card product that's it we pass it as a product and instead of include we say render that's all we need to do now uh, one more thing and instead of this card make sure you replace it with the product because this variable will be available in here not the other one we pass the product which is this one and now everything should look the same now if we if any any time in the future you want to bring any changes for example i want to add a little margin bottom or let's say padding bottom to the price i want you just add it in here and it is going to apply for all the product price that you have so if i come here and let's give it a save and everything should look fine and display properly something like this and normally people display uh, the price in a bit like gray color so i can say text gray uh, 600 so it will display a gray price for this one yeah it should be different from the product title i hope like this is working properly okay yeah this is displaying nicely and there are more design that we can add but that is what we do in the future video for now this is all we need to add if product is displaying and it, this is how it should display we didn't cover everything like there are more complex things but this is all we need for now i hope this video has been informative thank you for watching and in the next video we will start focusing on the product page designing the product page add to cart ajax and more so thank you again and i will see you in the next video